today's video, I will try web development tools, Git, NPM, Yarn, VS Code, and WebStorm. But I need to install these programs first. I installed Node.js and VS Code. I'm gonna test the WebStorm after VS Code, so keep watching. And I'm gonna build one project, really, really big project, React. So I'm just gonna download zip, load it here, React. Project file is loaded, it's pretty fast. Let me try using Yarn, I need to set up my project. Okay, Yarn. So it's now setting up for the packages. It's done. 57 seconds. All right, let's try building. So I'm gonna use npm build. npm build. Oh, sorry. Run build. Oh, there's an error. There's no Java runtime. Oh, I need to install Java, I forgot. Just one second. And let's try again. It's kind of taking some time, so let's see the temperature with this good old thermometer. It's only 29 Celsius. Check out this RAM usage. It's only using 6.47 gigabyte, and swap used around 360 megabyte. It's not bad. CPU usage, 80%, 70%. Do you know what's funny? It's using a lot of CPU, and the temperature doesn't go up. Let me check again. So 30 Celsius at 70 to 80% of CPU usage. So let's wait till finished. <sighs> so now it's complete building and temperature. Let's check it out. It's 35 Celsius, 36 Celsius. Let me check again. Yep, 36.4 Celsius. So the build is done without any problem. I mean, of course I didn't install the JDK, but I did, and it's working completely fine. So if you work on a big project with Node.js, I don't think there will be a big problem. Let's try another project. So I'll try this project this time. It's called Crate. And it has a three version, API, mobile, web. I'll try web for today and npm install. Okay, looks like it's done. npm start. Come on, show me something. I don't know if it's working or not. Do I need to click it? Oh, it's working, yay. So, um, I think it's a sample project. This is what it looks like. Start, um, I need to make an account. Up the random password, like, you know, very easy one. Oh, I think it's just a sample project. I think I have to set up by myself. I was a bit worried actually, because this is my first time testing for the web developing, especially for Node.js and React, and it's working fine. If you are a web developer who use VS Code and Node.js, MacBook Air M1 works perfect, no issue. Before I start with WebStorm, this is my first time ever using this tool, so I don't know what it looks like, I don't know how to use it, but I'll just review that it works. Right, WebStorm seems like I have to pay for it, but I'll just try a trial version. So, I don't know what to do. So, is it possible if I can use the project I used? Yeah, let me try that. 
Oh, so is it like VS Code but like advanced version? Is that what it is? Maybe we can, yeah, you will see. If you're a web developer who uses in WebStorm, don't judge me, all right? I'm, it's my first time, so I don't know what's going on. So now I get it. It's just same as VS Code. CD code, CD web, and this. All right, click this. Hmm, yeah, it's working fine. How about editing code? This is my first time using this one. I'm really interested now. How about mobile? Let's try mobile this time. npm install. Can you just go away? All right, I got it. So, how do we run? What's the script on this one? So script, Android, iOS, start, test, lint, iOS. Oh, it's actually working on the emulator. It's amazing. I didn't know it has a function to do this. Hmm, it's interesting. There's an error. What error is it? Um, access status. Maybe it's because it's booting? Is that what it is? Okay, let me try one more time. It should be working this time. Building an app. And there's an error. I don't know what kind of error this is. Failed to build iOS project. But it failed. Oh, I don't know what's going on because I'm not a professional web developer. Okay, this is the CPU usage. And I'm just gonna pretend like I'm um, putting some code here. Far copist is the best YouTuber. And far um, QDPI, of course. So CPU usage goes up to like 20%. It's not bad. Far Final Cut Pro is the video editing tool I use. FCP costs too much. And RAM usage is about, yeah, it's not going up. How about React project, React Master? So right now it's indexing dependencies and RAM usage doesn't go really high. Yeah, it looks like it's working just fine like VS Code. It's no issue. And temperature, 30 Celsius. Hmm, yeah, it's like VS Code. So I'm gonna do one more thing. I will test if I can pull the project from GitHub and also push to the GitHub. So I got the same project, create. I'll copy the link. And I'll put here, clone. Is it working? Yes, perfect. So I changed the code here. All right now, let's try commit and push the project. Commit and push. So copies. Email is copies hotmail.com. Seven commit. So it's committed and push. So authorizes JetBrains. Okay, I did. So can I push now, please? What do you mean push failed? I'll try again. Wait, what? Did it work? Let me use the terminal. I don't know what's going on. Okay, get push. What? Returned error. I think I don't have a permission to push the project. That's why it's having an issue. Anyways, everything works. VS Code, WebStorm, NPM, Git. So if you're a web developer who's considering to buy M1 MacBook Air, go for it. Or maybe add some RAM, like 16 gigabytes, not just the base model, but yeah. And if you have any question about this test today, please leave your comments down below. Yep, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.